Welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. Aduro Clean Technologies has just released an update to their involvement with Shell Oil in their uh, Shell Game Changer program. Very important to note before we get into this news release to keep this in context, this was a midpoint release uh, with marked progress through the first three phases of the program. Um, I would expect you to glean your own reaction to the news release. I would invite you to review the news release and re review it again. Uh, I've reviewed it up and down and I was able to glean for myself um, some much needed update on a program that has been in play now for the better part of 2023, stemming back into the fall of 2022. And it is a big one. It is an accelerator program that is aimed to find synergies between Shell Oil and businesses that they are looking to par partner with, Aduro Bing, uh, in that program now for um, this entire time. And up until now, uh, we have been really kept at bay as far as the inner workings of the program and those um, protections around the program for both entities will continue. Um, this is a very rare insight into um, the progress of the company, uh, the progress of the program, uh, and an end goal in place for the remaining three phases of the program earmarked for uh, latter 2023, uh, the end of. Um, before we get into the news release, I do want to add a couple of um, opportunities for you to review the disclaimers in the description. Uh, I am a share owner in the company. Um, those share purchases are provided in uh, their entirety in the description below. Um, so I want you to understand that um, this video was actually provided uh, as a promotional content uh, for Aduro Clean Technologies with the intent of providing awareness uh, to the news release that has just uh, been released. So this is on behalf of Aduro Clean Technologies uh, and for your review and perusal at your leisure. I would also like to bring your attention to a couple of other content creators as well who have given their opinion on the news release. I think we can all benefit from different opinions in the community. The first being Mariusz Skanowski. He just gave his reaction this morning. I found it to be a fantastic couple of minute reaction to the midpoint update as well as Penny Queen. You guys can kick over and link to their channel. They are featured channels of the Independent Investor Channel, and I do strongly uh, support their messages and their opinion on what has been um, a, a much needed and a very much anticipated update to the Shell Game Changer program, which has a, a very unique opportunity here to produce something very, very special coming out of the program. Uh, I will encourage you this as you review the news release with me, start to understand and start to perhaps maybe um, get a reaction to what you think, whether or not it's a neutral reaction or whether you think nothing is going to come out of it or whether you think the release is a non-starter, uh, what you may think of what is going to come at the end of 2023 when the Game Changer program does end up wrapping up what you think the motivation behind Aduro and Shell is by providing this update, who benefits from the program, and who stands to benefit, either Aduro or Shell Oil or both or neither, as you work through this update in understanding the magnitude and potential of the hydrochemolytic technology as it's put to the rigor by both uh, patrons of Aduro and Shell Oil through the Game Changer program. And we will just have to wait until the program finally concludes at the end of this year. I'm eagerly awaiting those results and will report out on those in due time. But for now, we're going to jump in and we're going to review the release from this morning, a very much anticipated release and progress of Aduro in the Game Changer program. Aduro Clean Technologies has just given some rare insight and update to the Shell Game Changer program. They are at the halfway mark here in the uh, program and the update was just released today. Um, I've read this up and down multiple times. I encourage you to do the same. 
we'll be going through the news release today um, as declared very very important for us to protect the sensitivity of the program and in respect to Aduro Clean Technologies as well as Shell Oil uh, who are actively engaged in this program um, I will be covering the release from today and allow you uh, to do the same. Uh, I would double down on the importance of reviewing this if you are in fact interested in the story. Um, I found this to be fascinating. Now you're going to either find this to be um, not a needle mover, uh, be neutral, or be positive about this news. Um, this is, take it for what, what you will, uh, an update on a program that has been alive and well since last fall, since Aduro released their acceptance uh, into this program, which is an absolute honor in and of itself and a real validation of the uh, Aduro technology. And having gone through the rigor as disclosed through the first three phases of the Game Changer program really just further proves um, our, um, our assessment that this technology does in fact have what Aduro declares in the first sentence here, the ability to really change the industry and, and transform the world with this chemistry. And I just want to cover this uh, as it's disclosed here, as released by Aduro, uh, being very, very cautious to understand that this is an ongoing program. And so with that, we will jump right into it. The Shell Game Changer program is an accelerator, and it's designed to partner. I want you to key off on those two words, accelerator and partner. Because I think the latter word with partner uh, with businesses to deliver innovative solutions that have the potential to drastically impact the future of energy and the transition to net zero emissions is key in this release. Um, in other words, you can draw your own conclusion as to what benefit you think that's going to come out of the Shell Game Changer program. Whether or not you are net neutral on the program and that this is going to... Um, not produce any tangible results after you're entitled to your opinion. Um, nor if you believe that there is any benefit to Shell uh, or Aduro independently, uh, or you believe that neither will benefit from this program, or you are of the opinion that I am in that they are looking to be uh, mutually uh, beneficial with each other and the relationship that I would presume is growing uh, throughout this program. And now I will give you some insight into my feeling about this marked progress in a program that, my friends, I don't believe Aduro would have been let in the front door um, had they not had their um, hydrochemiletic technology uh, verified up, down, and around at the onset of this program. Make no mistake about it, these first three phases were not a validation uh, to uh, allow the um, validation of the technology, rather a put the technology that they knew worked to rigor to see how much performance they could actually get out of the chemistry. And that's why I come back to Accelerator. And it is my presumption as a share owner in Aduro Clean Technologies that I think they were destined for greatness in accordance with their timelines that they established going forward out to 2027. It is my presumption that at the end of this year, at the conclusion of this Shell Game Changer program, that we should be provided even more transparency uh, on what is to be expected, what has come of the program, uh, what they uh, learned uh, from each other, uh, what will be um, any uh, follow-on um, opportunities, uh, if any, uh, that come out of the program at its conclusion. Now, this update from the Shell Game Changer program uh, gave us the completion target date uh, at the end of 2023, uh, but Neria did it suggest that there would be any more that comes out of the program, and we will just have to wait until the conclusion of that. 
It is my study and deep dive of how conservative Aduro is in respect to this program and the progress that is being made within the program to continually acknowledge that it is an ever-evolving program and to report on progress now halfway through would be premature. Uh, and I take this at face value to mean just an update. Now, the accelerator portion, I actually believe that this is going to be a, a net beneficial to both parties involved in this. Um, so I actually do believe that with this Shell Game Changer program involvement over the last 12 months, or it's going to be a little over a year uh, in the program, that they should be looking to find those synergies and looking how they can emerge from the program uh, and be mutually beneficial in, in meeting their goals um, to, to really take this solution to the next level. Um, and we, we want to make sure that we are being fair with the opportunity and, uh, and allow the report out of the current process to, to take hold and to treat it as that for us share owners in the company as an update and a successful one at that um, in the Shell Game Changer program. With the successful completion of the first three of six phases, Aduro has now passed the halfway mark of the program and is underway with the tasks outlined for phase four. The tasks outlined for the first three phases involved evaluating the performance of the hydrochemiletic technology using pure and mixed plastic feeds, measuring the impact of hydrochemiletic when contaminants are present. We've talked about this in real life being of the utmost importance to maintain its performance and the understanding and optimizing the key additives in the process for effectiveness and economics. All three phases achieved results that aligned with mutually agreed performance targets. I will allow you to glean what it is that you would suggest those to be. Uh, what it means to me is a successful negotiation of those prearranged targets um, that were established at the beginning. And my double down and, and, and insight to you guys as the uh, subscriber base to the channel that this is Shell Oil. Um, they are not going to allow this to progress unless there is a reason to progress and that started from day one and so for a duro to be to have progressed along this roadmap as far as they have is a testament to the technology uh, it's a testament to the program as a whole and it's a testament to the work on both sides to actually see this accelerator program through and to be reporting to you now on it in July 2023, Aduro initiated its commissioning runs of the pilot scale continuous flow reactor of hydrochemiletic plastic upcycling. The commissioning aligns well with the performance targets outlined for phase four. Okay, so they have begun phase four as of July. That's an important point here during this phase. Aduro will be demonstrating the efficiency of hydrochemiletic process in a continuous flow setup focusing on operability, product quality, and yield. Additionally, Aduro will be examining how the process transitions from batch to continuous system and evaluating the tunability to maximize NAP the cracker feed yields. Aduro is targeting completion of the six phase game, game changer by the end of the year. Couple of things there. The tunability I've spoke about, and it's something that I was able to glean during my site visit of AduroClean Technology, and it's something that the chief scientist had conveyed to me as an important differentiator of Aduro from the rest of the pack in the industry. Um, competitors, I will say, in the industry that have got favor uh, in the marketplace but the ability to tweak the input chemistry for a desired output is and will always continue to be a bullish aspect of this in that is it's not just a one size fits all application. And that is what I glean from some of the other uh, few product offers in the space, especially with plastic recycling. The flexibility or the tunability, as Aduro suggests here, and the ability to 
really augment the uh, technology to a desired output really is the huge selling point here. Now, we're not going to talk about the other verticals of the hydrochemolytic application in this video. I wanted to remain focused um, on the announcement here uh, from the uh, from Aduro, uh, which has been very, very rare. We haven't heard anything on Shell Game Changer, and I think that has been to the credit of Ofer Vicus really establishing a, um, um, a kind of a moratorium over the program while the program has a chance to see itself through. And I think that's in respect to both entities that are involved in this, and we will continue to, to honor that commitment and keep our conjecture to a dull roar until the program is completed and the results of those uh, program uh, finalized results, I do believe, will be forthcoming. But we will have to be uh, patient, and we will have to await those final results as they are uh, actively in the process of, of working through uh, the Shell Game Changer program. Ofer Vicus, and I quote, We are thrilled with the progress we have made in the Game Changer program. The results from the first three phases have been very encouraging. We are excited to move into the next phase of the project, commented over FICA, CEO of Adura. We are grateful for the support and expertise provided by Shell, which has been instrumental in advancing our goals. And so in closing, I want you guys to kind of understand, first of all, I, I want you to read the, the news release, and I want you to read it again. And I want you to glean what it is that I will um, share with you uh, some of my my thoughts about this update on the Aduro uh, Game Changer program with Shell. Um, I, I took this news release to be an update, a halfway point. Um, and I, I took it to be fairly close to the vest. Um, I took it to be a, a very worthwhile uh, midpoint announcement in a program that has very, very high implications for both parties involved. Uh, I took it to mean that they wanted to, yes, put an update out there, but also uh, um, refrain from releasing any details that could potentially compromise the program on either end. Now, they did suggest that we do have an end uh, in... Um, in, 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 in mind here at the end of 2023. And, and I would expect that if there were any summary um, takeaways from the Shell Game Changer program, that they would come at the conclusion of the program, and rightfully so. Until then, we'll have to be uh, patient on uh, any involvements in the program here. But I, I found this to be a very telling uh, from the perspective that it doesn't appear as if we have a a technology that is looking to be to be to be verified. Um, uh, it it um, the third party validation that occurred a couple of years ago with this technology has proven out that this has worked, and the accelerator I idea and opportunity through the Shell Game Changer program really is looking to take that from from bench strength right through. Um, the continuous flow process and right into setting themselves up for a commercially viable unit here with the learnings that they've been able to pick up through the Shell Game Ch Changer program and the learnings that I expect are probably happening on a day-to-day -day basis. But uh, earmark the end of 2023 for those updates, guys. I appreciate it, and we'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. So we've come out of the update from uh, Aduro Clean Technologies on the Game Changer progress. Um, I found it to be a fairly close to the vest release. Um, I found it to be a much needed release on a program that in accordance with the market sentiment has really gone full circle. Um, in other words, the initial announcement from last fall has seen us returning right back to the share price um, that uh, was um, um, that was reflective of a company 12 months ago when the company announced that they were accepted. Um, it is the current environment right now to look at fundamentals. Um, fundamentals will eventually matter in this company. They always do. Um, you cannot fight a market that is um, looking at these stories and not really understanding how to value them. Um, that's just the current makeup of the market. 
and it is incumbent upon the investor to look past those um, uh, um, deaf ears in the market uh, to glean a very clean perspective on a company like Aduro um, that is partnering with major oil and is a few short months away from concluding this program. And the questions remain on what could potentially come out of the Shell Game Changer program. I'm very optimistic. For me, I think that these are opportunities for a company like Shell to reach out and partner with a company like Aduro and find those synergies with the idea of accelerating their technology to mass scale and commercialization. Now, that's my presumption. Um, you are encouraged to do your own homework and due diligence on this topic because it, presuming and, and, and trying to forecast what could potentially come out of the program is anyone's guest and it's incumbent upon the individual investor to glean what they feel is going to come out of this game changer. Is it going to move the needle? Is it going to accelerate the path to commercialization for a Duro? We'll just have to wait and see. And for you to glean your own opinion about it, we've just been provided today some insights on the update of this very critical, monumental program for a Duro Clean Technologies. Guys, if you enjoy the content coming through the Independent Investor Channel, I would invite you to subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments in the comments section of this video. I will be commenting back um, on your reaction, your natural reaction to this update to the Shell Game Changer program. And I'm interested to see where you stand on this front. Are you neutral to negative? or positive on this? Do you think it's going to render some positive catalyst when they uh, announce the completion of the program come December? Guys, I appreciate you tuning in for the totality of the video and good luck in your investment future.